Hello, my name is Sergio Arispe. Today we're, we're going to be discussing breakpoints using business automation workflow process designer to investigate what's happening at a particular execution step in a client side human service workflow. We're going to set a breakpoint where you want the flow to pause and then look at the execution state of the flow when it is paused. To begin the procedure, we're going to open a diagram hiring sample advanced out of the box in the designer tool by clicking open in designer link. Using this model, I'm going to look at the processes and open the advanced HR open new position process, business process definition, where we'll see the entire flow. We can set breakpoints at multiple locations, but for this example, let's use the first task, submit job requisition, Specifically, we're going to set the breakpoint inside of the implementation for this task called Great Position Request Client Side Human Service. We can see the entire flow of the client side human service, but again, let's try to set the breakpoint somewhere in the beginning. Let's take a quick peek at this initialize output. Looking at the script, we can see output is going to be initialized for the next task. Let's take special note of this particular initialization where the requisition number equals to one. In the next task, I'm going to right click the task and I can see an option to add a breakpoint. I'm gonna add the breakpoint now. You can see the new debug icon has been added for this breakpoint. I'm gonna right click again and now I can see I have a edit breakpoint condition. This breakpoint condition is using a JavaScript. And this would occur only when a certain condition occurs. So we're going to specify the expression that is true when we want this breakpoint to activate for us. So here we can say if this requisition that employee variable is greater than five, we want the breakpoint to occur. To test this theory, we want to run the flow in debug mode by clicking the debug icon. The flow automatically stops at the first activity and the inspector view opens. We can, have, we can see we have several new options. We can step over this task. We can run and stop at a breakpoint, but we know there's no breakpoint initialized on this initialization task as there's no debug icon. We can show the playback window. This is a playback window. We can refresh or we can terminate. Let's go ahead and step over this task. With a new task, create position request. And for this case, let's step into this task. The playback window opens for us. Once we step in, and we're interested in this particular variable, as you see, I've been playing with it already. I'm gonna set this number of employee required to 10. Uh, that might be a number a little bit too high, so our breakpoint should activate when I click next or in the next task. Here we can see the inspector actually paused at the start of the next task because we hit a breakpoint. We can investigate our breakpoints a little bit more by clicking on the breakpoints view. Here we'll see every breakpoint we've created for this particular client side human service. We know we've only created one. That concludes this presentation. Thank you.